One of my hopes for this piece is not merely that the audience will be entertained by it, but will actually be moved by it. Uh, because it is a story of human endeavor, and it's a story of triumph, in a way. It's a triumph of the human spirit, a triumph of the human uh, determination. That's why it's important that we present the piece in, in a very intimate setting. I, again, I want the audience to feel, I want them to feel the perspiration on the characters' faces. I, I want them to get the sensation of the physical action of the play and the physical stillness that's involved in the play as well. Uh, the play is not long. It's 80 minutes. There's no intermission. One of the characters just sits perfectly still for half the play, but you're always conscious of her being there. Her st very stillness is action. And to become aware of that, to become conscious of that, to become part of that experience, you need the intimacy of a studio space um, so that you are, the audience is, is constantly aware that theatre is not just action, or if it is, part of that action is actual stillness. Stillness is a form of action, and we all experience it. We all go very still when under pressure, or in a state of grief or sadness. It tends to be those things that give us elation, that tend to make us more physical. So the contrast between the stillness and the silence and the action of the piece are best experienced when you can create that intimate environment where the audience and the performers are literally in the same space.